I'm not sure that you know this or not, but intermittent fasting can potentially greatly improve your sleep cycles, your circadian rhythm. Now, inside your brain, you have a circadian clock. And when I'm talking about circadian, I'm talking about certain rhythms, okay? It's a timing mechanism. The name of that clock is called suprachiasmatic nucleus. Now, this clock, which is located in the brain, is highly influenced by eating, temperature, stress, light, and darkness. So when the temperature is cold, guess what? You get hungry. When your body is stressed, you're not going to sleep. If you use too much light, it's going to inhibit a hormone called melatonin, which is going to keep you up. In the wintertime, it gets dark, so we get this spike in melatonin around like 6 o'clock, and some people are ready for bed. Oh, and as a side note, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click that red subscribe button and that little bell icon to get notified of the upcoming videos, as well as the live Q&A, which I'm going to be doing several times a week. Now, the times that you're not sleeping, or let's say you're traveling to another part of the world where you're, you have jet lag and the time zones are off, your appetite majorly goes up in a big way. And eating in general creates a stimulation of your organs, especially your liver and your muscles, and that's gonna keep you from sleeping. Also, a diabetic, which usually has a problem with insulin, um, has a higher uh, incidence of sleep apnea, okay? And this comes from high levels of insulin. And what triggers insulin? Frequent eating and eating too many carbs. The absolute worst time to eat is right before bed, and now you know why. But this nighttime snacking is the worst. Try to get a good night's sleep when you're completely bloated. When you consume sugar, for example, you have a spike of insulin. Now, here's the thing. When insulin goes up, you're going to feel tired. And this is why diabetics, for example, after lunch need to take a nap. Now, I remember when I was in my 20s, I had a serious time sleeping and I would actually consume, I'm not kidding, a pint of Ben & Jerry's ice cream right before bed to create this spike in insulin to help myself sleep. But here's the thing, I would wake up feeling groggy and puffy. So even though I would actually induce like a sugar coma, I would wake up just as tired as when I'd go to bed. So frequent eating actually confuses your brain because you're creating stimulation to the brain constantly. But on the flip side, when you start fasting and you do intermittent fasting, your organs have a chance to rest. Your brain can actually heal. And guess what's located in your brain? The suprachiasmic nuclei, the circadian clock. So this is why fasting improves your sleep cycles. In fact, when you do fasting and you do it consistently, you actually require a little less sleep. So if you want to see the research on this topic, I put the link down below. But this video is just another reason why you need to do intermittent fasting. Thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?